Hello, I'm Senator Patty Murray, and I am so proud to receive the Tribute of Hope Award from the Asbestos Disease Awareness Organization. It's a true honor to be presented with an award from a group comprised of selfless volunteers, and I thank you all for giving your time so that asbestos victims are given a voice. In particular, I'd like to thank Linda Reinstein for all of her efforts. Linda has come here to Washington, D.C. and has stood up for patients and families at hearings and press conferences. I want you all to know she's a great advocate for you. I also want to extend my deepest sympathy to Linda for the tragic loss of her husband, Alan, who died from this horrible disease. Today, it is really all of you that I should be honoring with an award. Without your ongoing assistance and leadership, I would not have been as aware of the devastating effects of asbestos. It was five years ago that I started my effort to ban the production and importation of asbestos in the U.S., and throughout the, that journey, I've appreciated the support and guidance I received from groups like yours. I know that the path toward justice for victims of asbestos exposure has been a long, sometimes difficult battle in Congress. I know sometimes it's felt like we might not be able to win. The actions of the Senate have been far too slow in the effort to enact legislation that will ban asbestos and fund life-saving research. But you know what? A few years ago, when we started working together on this issue, very few people even knew that asbestos was not banned, and even fewer knew just, just how dangerous it is. We've changed that. We've worked together to raise the profile of this issue and to raise consciousness about this illness. Now we're ready to go the next step a permanent ban on asbestos. On March 1st, I introduced my bill to ban asbestos in America. I hope you'll encourage your senators to join in supporting my bill. Because of your passionate interest in preventing asbestos diseases, finding new and effective treatments, and encouraging new scientific information, my bill also now includes research into all asbestos-related cancers, including mesothelioma. We must do the research necessary to find ways to better detect and treat all asbestos diseases. On the same day I introduced my bill, I also held a hearing in the Senate to highlight the need to ban asbestos and provide real awareness and support for research and effective treatment. Awareness of the risks of asbestos is so important. We must give people the information they need to prevent exposure and recognize the early warning signs of this disease. We must stop the suffering. I will not budge in my resolve on this issue, and I will, will not let up until this legislation has been enacted. I urge you to keep in touch with my office about progress on my efforts to ban asbestos. Visit my website at murray.senate.gov updates and check the box for my asbestos update. It's time to put a stop to the importation and use of this deadly material. We don't need to expose any more Americans to asbestos products. Once again, thank you for this award and all that you do on behalf of asbestos victims. I'm so proud to be your partner in the United States Senate, and I look forward to continuing to fight by your side.